hello guys and welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new and welcome to today's video i am super excited to be back in the routine of vlogging this vlog that you're about to see is the end of my little holiday at the beach and going back into work and routine and just sorting a lot of things out there's a lot of updates in this video but i really hope you enjoy it but as you know it is the season of black friday sales and i wanted to start this vlog by sharing one of my favorite companies companies with you guys that I've been working with for years and their Black Friday sales come around each year and it's a perfect time to stock up on a bunch of your favorite pieces. Lounge Underwear is having their Black Friday sales which start on the 14th of November at 7 p.m. So when you see this video the pieces will be live. I will have a link down below for you guys to shop. They don't have an end date for this sale. It is just while stocks last. So if there is anything you want to grab, make sure you go in and grab it as soon as possible because there's no guarantee that it will be there in say a week's time, two weeks time. But they are having up to 70% off, which is just awesome. I love a good sale, especially as a uni student. Like every time sales come around, I'm picking up presents for people, especially this time of year. Black Friday sales are an awesome time to get stuck into your Christmas shopping. However, their newest collection will not be in this sale, but there are still heaps of awesome pieces for you guys to shop. A lot that I have shown you guys before and that I wear literally every single week. Like they have some really good underwear staples that are just in constant rotation for me. Gift wrapping will also be turned off during the sale. So also make note of that. So yeah, happy shopping guys. Hope you enjoy that. So sorry about my red cheeks. I really cannot do much about it at the moment. I'm trying to let my skin breathe because it has been going through a bit of a rough patch. So we're just letting it breathe and it is like 30 degrees today. So please ignore that. But I have a few pieces that I wanted to show you guys. All my sizing and information will be down in the description for you guys to shop. Uh, the first one I'm actually gonna share with you, I'm wearing right now, as you guys can see. I love a good matching set. So this is the Essential Crop Top and Shorts. This one comes in black, charcoal, and cream. Sizes range from an extra small to an extra large. I believe I got the bigger size in the bottoms just because I like them to be super baggy. And the top is a medium and she is fitting really nicely, very supportive. I love that you can grab different sizes because my top is a lot smaller than my bottom. So you can grab this one in the sale. It does retail for $85. But honestly, just the perfect chuck on. You can even probably Probably wear this with sneakers and wear it out I would so do that to go grab coffee or if you're running some errands going to do the grocery shopping something like that this would definitely be very cute but it's got like the fleece on the inside so it's super soft but I feel like it's not too much to wear in summer like as I said I'm wearing it today and I feel totally fine. But yeah, you can never go wrong with a matching lounge set. While we're on the topic of lounge, I also grabbed this hoodie. I've been eyeing this off for a long time. I just needed a good staple hoodie. I don't have any hoodies that I can think of, like as an actual hood. I have a lot of crew necks, but sometimes you do need a hoodie, you do need the hood. Um, and I just think that this is such a classic staple to have. So this is their basic oversized hoodie. I got it in the cream. Again, retails for $85 and it also comes in black. And again, the sizes go from an extra small to an extra large. I'm pretty sure this is an extra large because I love all of my loungewear pieces to be nice and baggy, super comfortable. And that's exactly what this is. This would be an awesome thing to pick up in the sales. You could also gift this. Like who doesn't love a nice matching set or just some loungewear? Like we all wear it and some good quality pieces I think would be awesome to gift. I love the fit of this, like the sleeves are really nice and big, which I really appreciate because I have really long arms. So I find on a lot of hoodies, they're like too short for me and they almost look a bit cropped, which can look a little bit funny, but the sleeves are nice and baggy, which I love. And it's just got the lounge embroidery at the front. Also don't normally go for like creams or whites because I'm a bit of a messy person, but look, we'll see how long it lasts. You guys know my whole ethos with feeling confident and getting underwear pieces that empower you and actually make you feel like a super woman. And Lounge is phenomenal at doing that. I find their pieces fit me really, really well. I'm so excited to show you this. This is honestly the most confident I've ever felt in a lingerie set. And I'm so excited about it. I've never been a blue person, but I just randomly decided, look, I'm gonna be a blue person. Pick this up. And it is like electric. I just feel phenomenal in this. And with a bit of a tan too, you're just like, mm, 
feeling all the good energy and I love that. This is the Blossom Balcony. I have picked this up in a few different colours but obviously never in the blue and don't know why I've steered clear of the blue. This is beautiful. As you can see it is such delicate lacing. I love this so much. It just feels so nice on. You can adjust the straps. The sizes range from a 30A to a 38G. The set retails for $95. They have heaps of colors, pink, yellow, green, you name it, they've got it. And in the set, we have the thong. Super cheeky. It's really sheer on the front, but um, I love these. They honestly just make me feel so good. I feel so excited wearing it. Like I'm just... I don't know, a ball of confidence and I love that your underwear can make you feel like that. And this ranges from an extra small to an extra extra large. This is definitely one of my top recommendations I would say for the sale because I have quite a few of these and love wearing them. All of them are absolutely stunning pieces. Um, I got this in a pink last time and I have worn her many times. And then the last one is a bit of a staple. I'm actually wearing the bottoms right now. Um, but the bamboo range is absolutely stunning and this color is beautiful as well I did not expect to love it this much but this is in the olive shade and it is the softest material like I wish you guys could feel this the softest material this is the minimal triangle I wear this underneath t-shirts you guys can see what it looks like at the back you can adjust the straps it just feels really good on it's super comfortable it's got the lounge band um, under the bust but yeah it just feels so luxurious like such good quality you will have this for a very very long time and I think it is a really good idea to invest in your underwear and then the bottoms are a thong um, and they are super comfy I got them in a slightly bigger size this time just because I don't like the thick bands to dig into me it's perfect I'm so so in love with this set and this color too it really brings out my tan from my beach holiday I love that for me and so that retails for $75 but these will all be included in the sale the bottoms you can also get in a brief I might add um, I do have the brief in the black I believe so yeah if you don't want a thong that's totally fine and the sizes in the bras go from an extra small to an extra large and then they go all the way up to an extra extra large in the bottoms but yeah that is what I've picked up from lounge and a few of my recommendations for their Black Friday sales honestly get on it get yourself some empowering pieces that just make you feel confident and go into the new year and the festive season just feeling your best because honestly I was not a big believer until I got some really awesome underwear lingerie pieces I did not believe that you could feel that empowered from literally what you put on every single day. So yeah, happy shopping guys. Enjoy that. All of the information will be down in the description for you guys. And yeah, let's get back into the vlog. Thursday. It's our last morning here. We've been on holidays for a week and we're sadly heading home today. It's pretty early but I wanted to go for a nice walk along the beach before we like probably have to pack everything up. So yeah, gonna make the most of the last couple of hours here and then we're heading to the shops on the way home back to Brisbane and then get stuck back into things when we're home. I will talk to you guys all properly later in the vlog like later today this is my little room that i've had it's like two king single mattresses that we've joined together so it's been like a king bed but they're not even like the beds are different heights but anyway i am going to pack up all my stuff and get ready for our last day <laughs> Hello 
guys, I am home now and it feels so nice to be back in my environment. I went to the post box on the way home and I picked up a few packages. By a few, I mean, I might have done a little bit of damage, but everything has a very good reason for it. Um, and I just thought that I would share it with you guys and yeah, do a bit of an unboxing because you guys always enjoy the hauls. I made a few different orders. The first one is the Iconic. I had like almost no shorts that fit me from last summer. So I needed to, yeah, buy some more and yeah, just see what worked. I bought a whole bunch of stuff. I am returning heaps, but I thought I'd show you what I am keeping. This one, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep these pants. They're like a linen-y material and they have just like a black and cream pattern. I thought this would be really good when you have to go out and it's summer like I don't really have anything that's not thick and not super short to wear so yeah I thought this would be nice and chill yeah, wide leg pants they tie up at the top I think I'm gonna keep these I really like them you guys have probably seen me wear these dress pants from Cali I have them in black and I have them in brown but the original color I wanted was this sage green color like how nice is that these are the best dress pants. Honestly, my favorite. I couldn't help myself. I had to pick these up. And originally I got them in a super small size by accident, but I loved the color like a couple of months ago. Um, and I just saved them on my iconic app until they came on sale and they did. So I'm excited about that. I also had, yeah, no denim shorts that fit me from last summer. So I feel like this is just a staple. I got these ones from the Iconic. This is the brand. I've never heard of them before. Is it Mood Denim? They're just like A-line shorts. I didn't realize they were so ripped, but they're cute. I also got this pair of denim shorts, very similar. I had none, so I needed at least two denim pairs and I'm glad um, I found some. And then I also got these. I think I'm gonna keep these. They are black. I've never had black denim shorts but they're just really comfy so I've got no shorts to wear I think these will go down really well this is from the brand oh, RA I think that's how you pronounce it um and the other denim ones I showed you are Atmos in here so yeah at least I've got denim shorts that I can wear this summer I think that's all I'm keeping from the iconic um but today at the shops um I stopped in uh, to Harbour Town on the way back to Brisbane and I just got some jeans these are from Forever New they were like $30 and yeah, they've just like got a raw cut at the bottom. So that's good. Sorry, this is also from the iconic from the brand Nude Lucy. I really like their stuff. They're just some white linen shorts. They're nice and flowy. They don't grab onto the wrong places and I can cinch them in. I also went to Seed and picked up these white shorts they're a bit big for me but they have like little belt hooks so i can wear a belt with it and cinch in my waist which is fine but they're just really really good quality shorts you guys aren't going to be able to tell but yeah got them and then i got these like brown waffle napkins for when i move but you can like wash them so when you have people over for dinner i don't know I just thought these were cool and they were only $8 from 40, which I thought was cool. And the brown is nice. I also just got some other packages. I bought this from Target like two weeks ago, maybe. Um, and they all just had to come in separate boxes. But anyway, um, it's a little return planter. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see. I'm glad I've got the little small one. It was on clearance for $10. Like how cute. So yeah got that oh i also got another package from target now you know when you like make an order and you're trying to get it to free shipping so you kind of just chuck something in the cart well <laughs> that was this didn't really need it don't know if i'm gonna keep it but let me show you i got this quilt cover set i was eyeing this off at the beginning of the year and it is like a soft baby pink cord quilt cover. Like look how good it looks with the rattan. Oh my gosh, and I actually have that cushion in the picture. How cool, I love cord. So I actually don't know <laughs> what I'm gonna do, whether I'm gonna keep this or not. It was down to like $40. So yeah, that's a, that's a maybe. I also got this package from Catalina Sounds. They do wine. Um, and yeah, they sent me some Chardonnay Savion Blanc, which is very exciting. Look how nice this is. And then I've got some glasses to drink it with. And this is the 
Chardonnay. I have decided to stop drinking for the meantime. They asked if they could send me this like a month ago. Um, so yeah. And I got some pajamas from Cashia, which I'm very excited about. I'll have to try them on later. I was just hopping on my computer to um, fix up like a cover letter and a resume to apply for a job that I found while I was away. And I knew that it closed today, but I was like, oh, I'll be home. It'll be fine. I'll just, you know, do it as soon as I get home and apply for it. And it's closed. So a little bit bummed about that and feeling a little bit funky. These things happen, wasn't meant to be. It was a really cool job though. And I was really eager to apply to it, but I didn't have my resume on my laptop with me. So I will <laughs> now do that so that I've got it with me. I have a lot of updates for you guys um a lot has happened in the past week and i feel like i don't know right now i'm a bit frazzled because of all of the mess behind me i still need to unpack i've got stuff to put away and organize and i don't know i just feel very unsettled so i feel like i need to settle myself and the updates will come um i do also really want to sit down and do like an update q a type video just because i feel like there is so much that i want to share with you guys and i just i don't know get frazzled on the day to day that i don't get to fully talk about it and explain some of these things but basically i've decided one of my jobs i have multiple one of them at a school that i work at i am going to be leaving in the coming days i need to write up a resignation letter i'm only going to be with them until the end of term four which is only a couple of weeks away but yeah i've just decided it's the right decision for me um i might talk about it in another video i was talking to you guys in a few videos back about the negative work space and just having a really toxic workplace to go to honestly has such a horrible impact on your mental health and as you know my mental health has really taken a hit this year and yeah after I came back from placement I realized just how big of a negative impact this job was having on me it's just time to put myself first and start rerouting and I'm eager to find a new job and just change things up change my work life up we'll see what's out there but I just decided I'm gonna end it at the end of term four it's a decision I made in my head. It feels really right, which I'm really happy about. Um, I feel like that happened with my last job too. When I left, I was like, I know it's time. Um, and yeah, I'm really happy that I've made the decision that I've made. Um, but yeah, note to self, put your mental health before any job, any workplace. I'm really lucky that I have multiple forms of income. So one job down, I have other places that I'm getting money from whilst I search for new work um but yeah that's just a little life update what's happening tonight I need to sort out all of my stuff I need to unpack I want to try and tidy some stuff clean up my spaces and just get myself feeling good so tomorrow I can have a productive day that's the plan Good morning guys it is friday today it's the end of the week but i'm just trying to get back into routine so it really does not feel like a friday when you came home from holidays on a thursday i am at the gym which i haven't been to in quite a while haven't been in my like consistent gym routine in many many weeks um due to a number of reasons i am really eager to get back into it and to get back into proper routine with training because for a while there i was kind of just letting my body rest which it needed at the time now i just think this is the best thing for me it really improves my mental health this is honestly the last place i feel like being today i feel so sick in my stomach like my stomach is churning and yeah i just have a lot going on in my personal life which I don't think is necessary to share and I know that can be really frustrating obviously because you're coming along with me in my vlogs but when you're trying to vlog each day it is really hard to show up as a different person to how you're feeling sorry I don't know I really didn't want to come on here and cry <laughs> but it really just has been 
a shocking couple of weeks for multiple reasons but in the last seven days so much has happened i'm not ready to share yet i just honestly don't really know what is going to happen for me um in the coming days in the coming weeks and i'm really really scared i'm trying to stay hopeful in some capacity but yeah mentally it's been a shocking seven days and it feels like a lot of things are ending for me which um is really really hard <laughs> but somehow i have to pull myself together to head into the gym right now i honestly don't know how i keep it together some days like how am i pulling myself together today to go in there and do a heavyweight session i don't know but somehow i have to do it if i've learned anything from the past seven days it is to appreciate what you have when you have it because life honestly changes so so quickly and even when you think things are working out and things are looking up things can be you know gone as quickly as they begun oh my goodness some days is honestly a biggest mental battle just to keep going and just to keep doing stuff I dragged myself out of bed this morning i would have stayed there honestly all day i have no idea how i got myself here i need to go in and do a workout we'll see how we go after that and i need to look like i haven't been crying when i walk through the gym I just got back from the grocery store. That was one of the hardest grocery shops I've ever had to do. I'm just really not feeling great today, but I needed food. I'm trying to make something out of today. I thought I'd do a little grocery haul of what I got. Some low carb pizza bases, some wraps, some cheese, tofu. I love the satay one at Woolies. And then I got these new seasoning things to try. I've got green curry and teriyaki stir fry, coconut vegetable sauce, sun-dried tomato, pesto, chamomile tea, kidney beans, cannellini beans, pineapple, spinach, blackberries. I got some Yopro yogurt, avocados. I got some lemons, a mango that I don't know whether that's going to be good or not. Got some more hair ties and a little like measuring cup, bliss balls. I got some bon soy almond milk because it was on special. I also got some coconut waters. I got lychee and passion fruit and some kombucha and some deodorant. Time to make breakfast and try and pick myself up a little bit today. I think I'm gonna have to slow it down a little bit, be very kind to myself because my chest is so heavy today like you, you could cut it out with a knife oh. 